guys. This is Zoe Babies with 11 very excited piggies. Um, I have a bowl of fresh vegetables in the kitchen for them. And even though they had dinner already, they are still very hungry, so they are going to get that in a second. So as you can see, the cage is an absolute nightmare at the moment. It's really disgusting and filthy. That's because today it's Friday and it's the end of the week and they get a complete cage clean tomorrow. So please bear with me and look past the mess. My cage is usually not quite as bad, but it's been a very busy week. So I only got to clean it out once halfway through the week, while I usually clean it out twice. You're not going to let me talk, are you? Listen to you. The pigs are saying that they really missed you over these last few weeks. And they're very glad that I'm making a video. <laughs> Look at you. You're all so excited. <laughs> And there's a couple that are off to the kitchen. <laughs> yes, you will get food. Yes, mommy loves you. I know, I know. But I promise you, you will get food. You'll just have to wait a couple of seconds because I want to wait until hubby is home before he, you get your food. And hubby is just arriving now, so please, quiet. Anyway, so... I think I will have to feed them before I can continue um, with this video as they're just so excited. So that's the pigs a lot quieter now. They got loads of fresh stuff from the garden. They got celery and fumin lettuce, parsley and chard. So they're very happy at the moment. And hopefully that will keep them quiet for the rest of the evening, although I doubt it. At the moment, whenever I go out of the back door into the garden, um, they get very excited and very loud. And they either want fresh veggies or they want grass. I have one patch of the garden which is basically just really high weeds and grass and that's just for the pigs. So I will in the next few weeks do a garden tour and show you what I grow for the piggies and what my garden is how it looks. So what I really want to talk about today is um, future videos that I've planned or that I already recorded. So to me it feels like I've been away from YouTube for a long long time. I don't know when it was I uploaded the last video but it feels like it was months and months and months and months and I know it hasn't been months and months and months. It's just usually uh, I at least watch videos even if I'm, I, I am very busy. There's um, a few people I follow and I always watch their videos but lately I feel I haven't had any chance at all for YouTube um, which is very unfortunate. Uh, and the reasons for that is just it's just life. Um, we got our kitchen redone, we got new floors done, so in, during that time I couldn't really record much because the house was a mess. Um, work's been busy, illness, husband looking to get a new job, just work, uh, just life, sorry. Just life has been busy, so I haven't had a chance um, to really get on YouTube and watch all these videos that the people that I follow have uploaded and um, I haven't replied to any comments. I know I'm really bad at that but usually on Facebook I'm a bit better so if um, you know you're desperate for an answer ping me on Facebook. Um, haven't been on Facebook much either lately again for the same reason but I'm hoping to um, get on both YouTube and Facebook a bit more over the next um, few weeks. So now what do I have planned? Um, first of all, what do I have planned for the herd? I have planned absolutely nothing for the herd. Um, we have 11 female guinea pigs um, and I'm very happy with the herd as it is. Um, I have a few older guinea pigs who have been losing weight gradually. It's not due to illness, it's due to their age and 
in a, I have three that I'm a bit worried about because they're older and they're a bit more sickly. So, you know, I need to take care of those pigs. So I have not planned to add any more pigs at this moment in time. Um, but then again, sometimes things come up and I may add some on. But at the moment, I'm really happy with the herd as it is. Uh, I have four skinny pigs. So those are the hairless skinny pigs. And the rest are all hairy varieties. Um, my hairies are all short-haired and that's because uh, my piggy sitters are allergic to guinea pigs and the long hair makes it worse. Um, also they are all girls. Again I don't have boys because A I don't want to have loads and loads of babies. Um, um, you know I'm not planning to go down that route. And also, again, with boys, my piggy sitter's allergy get worse. So there's, I had an offer of a beautiful castrated uh, boar, and I love that pig to death. He's so, so beautiful, but I'm just too reluctant to integrate him um, because I don't know how my piggy sitter will react. And it's important that when I'm away, somebody who I can absolutely trust is looking after my piggies. So, uh, so as far as the herd goes, I have nothing planned. As far as the cage goes, I'm happy with my cage. Um, I have my wee extension. Let me go over and show you that. Here I have a little extension and that's just a CNC with an extension with the ramp going into the cage. Um, you can now also see one of the two IKEA beds, and as I said, it's really disgusting in here. The pigs need a good clean out. So let's go back to the less disgusting part of the cage. So the piggies are still enjoying their dinner, and to the left side, you can now see a wee a hay extension I have. I always have that in the room when the piggies are on easy bed, and they are on easy bed at the moment because. Um, I haven't had the time to change the fleece every day, so that's why I keep them on easy bed. It keeps them drier, it keeps them a bit neat, well, it's not neater, but it keeps them smelling a bit better. So, um, so whenever I have the guinea pigs on easy bed, I have a re extension for the hay, and that's so the easy bed doesn't look so grotty. Um, I also still have one of the free ranging areas underneath the window that the piggies really like, um, but I don't have any of the other free ranging areas. Now that it's warm, the uh, door from, I should maybe explain that the room that we are in just now, that's our dining room. It, we used to have a beautiful table in here, a beautiful massive table. Yes, we did have a table in here. But why did we get rid of the flipper? Hmm? Why was that again? Yes, because we got guinea pigs. So now the table, well, it first went into the garage and it's now in our living room. Um, but so yeah, so this is basically a dedicated guinea pig room. We have a projector in here so we can watch films with the piggies if we want. Um, we tend to do that more in winter for some reason than in the summer. But yeah, so here we are in the guinea pig room. And from the guinea pig room, you can go either into the hall or straight into the, to the kitchen. So there's no door between the guinea pig room and the kitchen. All year round, the guinea pigs have free run of the guinea pig room and the kitchen because there's no door in between those two. So they can jump out of the cage whenever they want, walk around the guinea pig room, go through to the kitchen. Um, and in winter, mostly keep those two doors closed, especially when we're out of the house, because then I put the heater on to only come on in the guinea pig room. So the rest of the house won't get heated up. It's just the guinea pig room and the kitchen that get heated up, and that makes it a bit more cost effective. Um, no point having the heater on in other rooms when we're not home during the day. And then when you're home at night, they can then run into the other rooms, but they tend to be more sedentary in winter and not walk about so much. Now it's nice and warm and I leave the kitchen and the uh, dining room door that go into the hall, I leave them open um, all day long. When we are out, I close the bedroom doors and the living room door, but I leave the bathroom door open. And that's just so that if they go into any of the other rooms and we're not there, I, I don't like them doing that because 
that in some of the rooms there's cables and you know there might be stuff flying about when we're at home it's no bother then i can make sure everything is fine but during the day i don't want them to run about so do they run about no they don't actually um in the past i have had guinea pigs that would go into the other bedrooms none of the ones in that i have at the moment run around the bedrooms they don't go as far uh, they don't go near the living room either in the past again when we first had guinea pigs and we got our first free-ranging guinea pigs um we would sit in the living room and watch a film and one of the guinea pigs would just come in and say look around and go back out but of the the lot that i currently have none of them do that partially i think because their cage is huge and they don't feel the need um no i have Four that every day come into the kitchen, so um, that's Frankie, Willow, Philippa and Pew. They will come into the kitchen every time that they think they get food or every time I'm through there and they think they can bully me into giving them food. So that's quite often. Then I have a few that will run around the dining room, so that's Lacey, um, Oh, who else does it? Lacey, mm, Fiona runs around, and Zoe, of course Zoe. Um, picks that will never leave the cage unless they absolutely have to is Bonnie and Cassandra and Buffy. Um, Cassandra used to free range a bit more, but she's now kind of stopped. And the other one who used to free range a lot is Monka, but now that she's older and a bit more poorly, she doesn't walk about either. So, um, have I mentioned Lacey yet? Lacey is, she runs around the dining room quite happily most days. Actually, I could say every day. And she sometimes will come to the kitchen, um, but not always. I don't know what her deal is. So... And then Frankie, let's mention Frankie. Frankie has started walking through into the hall now. She, um, when she's desperate for dinner and I'm in the living room, she will come out the dining room door and look at me. Um, she will also go out of the dining room door into the hall, uh, walk through the hall and go into the kitchen room, uh, into the kitchen room, into the kitchen door and then from the kitchen back into the guinea pig room. So um, she is quite adventurous and I'm hoping that she will get get even more adventurous and start free ranging into other rooms again. Uh, so since we're talking about free ranging, one thing I have planned, we have um, all our cupboards in the house uh, integrated. So they all build in. Um, and what I had in the past is one of the cupboards in the hall uh, Underneath the bottom shelf, I had cleared everything out. I put plastic down and then I can't remember if we had carpet tiles or something like that. And my original picks used to free range in there. So I'm hoping to uh, bring that cupboard back for a while and see if this lot likes it. Um, probably do it a bit different this time just to make it easier to work with. I'm not sure yet when I'll do that um, or how I do it. But if I do, I will show you. So that's the pics and their setup. Videos now, YouTube videos. So I have been recording quite a few videos lately. I have one that is that I've actually been working on as well, and that's on how to bathe your guinea pig. Now this has been requested by somebody on Facebook, um, and there's a couple of other people on YouTube as well that have asked me about it. So I'm nearly done edit editing it. Um, and I'm mostly happy with it. I just wished um, the end was filmed a bit better. I wanted to show you how I dry my guinea pigs with a hair dryer, um, but the camera wasn't really pointing in the right direction. But it's still, I think, a good video, so I'm going to finish editing that and put it up. I also have, I believe, a video on how I made part of my uh, CNC extension. I had filmed a few videos outside with the piggies in the run, but when I played them back, there was just too much noise from the wind, so that didn't work out. 
I have one video filmed about guinea pig pellets, just a quick one, so I'm hoping to um, edit that soon and get that uploaded. Other than that, I have planned a video uh, showing you what I grow in the garden for the piggies. I want to do a video on vegetables and what fresh food I feed the piggies and when they get it. Um, what else have I planned? I think that's probably all I have planned for the moment. If you have any requests, um, if you have, if you are on Facebook, please go to my Facebook page and leave a comment on um, my Facebook page. Um, and that's, you know, that gets the most attention. If you don't have Facebook, then please leave a comment below this video and I will try and uh, get around to um, doing all the requests I get as long as they reasonable. Oh yeah, I have another video uh, that I've been thinking about. I, often I get questions on how I built the guinea pig cage. Um, obviously I can't show you how to build it because it's all done now, but I'd like to talk you through how um, my husband and his father built the cage. So that's another one to, sh uh, to share with you. So if there's anything else you'd like to know, just let me know. And um, this video is probably longer than I intended it to be, but I hope you enjoyed it. And um, sorry again for not being so prominent on YouTube lately. And I'm hoping to get more videos uploaded in the future. And I'm hoping to be a lot more active with my comments as well. A um, load of people leave really, really nice comments or questions. and. I have been, I have to admit it, quite lazy with replying. It's not because I don't like you or hate you or, you know, I don't care. I do care. It just, life gets in the way. So, yeah. So, I think that's all from me today. So, let me finish by zooming into um, Philippa because she's really cute. So, bear with me because I don't want to show you the nasty parts of the cage. But I'd like to zoom in and show you Philippa. Doesn't she just look precious? I love it when guinea pigs sleep on that content. So that's all from us tonight. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Or if you watch this later in the week, I hope you have a lovely weekday. And I'll speak to you soon again. Bye bye.